all right so this is part two of the 1600 saga today we're gonna try i'm gonna try to tackle getting the seals put in the draft control shaft and first step in that is i gotta get the power takeoff shaft out of the way so i can get down to the pinch bolts and the transmission to split the shaft so Talked to dad on that gear last night when he called and we decided that there ain't no, it would take too long to hunt down the parts and there's other stuff that's got to be done around here so for now we're just going to stick it back together the way it is and hunt down some gears and we'll replace that at a later date. And if it survived for 50 something odd years and that's all the works it is, it'll go a few more and not get too bad. Ugh. Now luckily getting the PTO drive shaft out of these things is super simple. You pull the cover off, pull three bolts out of that carrier bearing, and the clutch and the drive shaft all come out in one piece. And they kept the same design started in the first tractor to use it was 1948 when they came out with the old style 88 and actually the old style 88 was the test bed for it and that whole transmission design in general for the live power takeoff and then they carried all the way through the last tractor to have it was a 1655 or to have this style the 17 18 19 all still had the straight through shaft but it was a hydraulic clutch and a whole different back plate but the 1600 the 1650 the 1650 and the 1655 all use this Now, it's probably going to be a little stuck, so it's going to take some persuasion. There we go. One tool, if any of you guys ain't got one, I highly suggest you get. That's called a die bar. Greatest thing ever. It's a pry bar on steroids. Come on, line up with the shaft. There you go. Lost my spacer. Now that that's out of the way, I gotta get down there to those bolts, release them, and that should let the shaft split and slide out either side. Alright, I got the bolts out, got the washers out. These these act like keys. They go in there one on each one on each side of the shaft. Actually, 
one on each shaft, the shaft split in the middle. They act like keys that go down in the slot, and then you put the bolts through them, and then that keeps the shaft from from spinning. And what this this is is an arm that comes and works up against this box box car spring, and that's uh, what sets your draft pressure. So, but I already got one side started here. This is the side that was leaking, so get it out first. May get a little bit of oil here. I can't get it drained down all the way. Yeah, that's where that washer sits. Shaft isn't worn, that's a good thing. Now, both things fit in that yoke just a tad tight intentionally. So you gotta spread it apart and it'll come out far enough to get a hold of it. This side may be difficult. What are you hung up on? Hmm. Ow, that's what it's doing. Yeah, that's not what it's doing. It's free of the yoke. I guess it just wants to be difficult. There it comes. So then we're out. So, next step's going to be to pop the seals out. Got my handy dandy seal puller here. Hopefully they won't be too stubborn. One. Well, now I got to try to... Another awesome tool that I don't know what we did with before we got it. Sure beats a screwdriver. Well, the trying to get in there. Definitely shot. They were rock hard, but got the new ones here. Genuine ag co parts going in this tractor. Outfitting, working on a tractor, listening to One Piece at a Time by Johnny Cash. There's one. I uploaded a video at working out that 1800 and I had to laugh. I got it all uploaded and everything and 
it came or got it on my video feed there and it said copyright issues video not viewable in some countries like what the hell I didn't even put any music in this one well apparently I had Pandora playing just loud enough that YouTube picked it up so I got like six copyright claims on that video because it recognized six songs that were playing in the background so if you're in Germany or what the heck was the other one like Singapore you can't watch that video so YouTube was kind of retarded on that one put a little bit of grease on these seals one it helps go it goes together a little easier and two it keeps them from chafing before oil gets worked in them because all that would do is ruin seals and I'd be back to doing the same project again. And the one thing Oliver did that was smart, and I'm sure other companies did too, I know John Deere didn't at least on the 10 series tractors because my buddy's 3010, they keep putting seals in it and they keep leaking because the hole's wallered out. Oliver's got a needle bearing in there for these shafts to, to rotate in so that um, you don't wear the casting. On that 3010 of my buddies, they just uh, bored the casting out to size and put a, steel, or put a seal in it, put the shaft in, and then from pulling on it, the uh, hole ovaled out and the even when they put new seals in it, they won't seal up because the shaft pulls back and it uh, stops touching one side of the seal. So, I don't know if they fixed that on the 10 series. But, there are some engineers that do think. Now, this is going to be the fun part, it's trying to work that thing back in there. Probably gonna be one of them things where I need about eight different sets of hands. side in real quick it came out easier maybe it'll go in easier help hold that thing center while I'm working on the other side Bang! There's that one. I just gotta get the slot lined up. There we go. There. That's that one. Well, bolts are back in and tight, and seals are in it, so. This is part where you start going back together. Come on. In the hole. This is really fun when you don't get, when the top cover's not on it. Or when the top cover is on it. 
Wow. Normally you gotta fight it going into the splines on the back of the flywheel, but it slid right in. I'm impressed. On there. And the last piece to go back on for this part of the project anyway. And before anybody says anything about that repair job, that's not something Dad nor I did. That's something that the previous owner did. I guess that's something that the 6 Series tractors, meaning the 1600, 1650, 1655 were known for is busting these the clutch housings right right here like that. Um, yeah, the way the center link mounts, if you aren't paying attention when you unhook from the implement and you don't hang the center link back up in the hanger like you're supposed to it'll swing down and jams right there into the clutch cover and obviously bust it out like that so it is very very hard to find a decent one that hasn't been broke because One, they're hard to come by. Two, guys are do, that are doing the restorations are buying them up. And three, they're expensive as heck when you do find them. As we've, there was one on eBay. The year we got this, there was one on eBay. The, the guy was parting out. There's a guy over in the Thumb of Michigan that parts out a bunch of tractors. And he had parted out a six, I think it was a 1650 had one of them clutch covers on it that was good and he had I think he started out the listing at like 15 bucks or something so dad was watching it and it comes down to like the lat comes down to like the last 30 minutes of the auction we're sitting there watching it and he puts a, puts a bid in on it because nobody'd hit it, hit it yet he no more hit that and the bidding war started and I think when it was all said and done, that cover went for like 200 bucks. Obviously, this isn't being restored anytime soon, so we figured we can just live with one with a hole in it for a while. Well, I guess that about does it for part two of this little adventure. Um, part takeoff's all back in, shaft tight. I don't know if it leaks till I get it all back together and get rear end fluid put back in it um i got my rest of my parts ordered for the hydraulic unit earlier this afternoon they had everything in stock so should have everything here by monday if ever if it got shipped out this afternoon which it should have and so I'd be expecting the third part of this to show up about, probably looking for it Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how things go. I'm going to start getting it tore apart tomorrow, but I'm going to put it all in one video. So, um, yeah, be looking for that for part three on Wednesday or Thursday, one of the two. So... Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the drill. Catch you later, guys.